For those battling addiction, those struggling say treatment has taken a back seat during the pandemic. One regional recovery center in Ohio isn't letting people forget, and they just got a big boost to achieve their goal. 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis explains how this will help the area. Certainly the opioid use problem has gone up because of the social isolation, um, you know, problems. We've seen overdose deaths and substance use overdoses go up nationwide and in West Virginia, and, uh, Ohio, Kentucky. The money will be used to help fund mental health services in Lawrence, Scioto and Adams counties to help treat the addiction problem in the area for the uninsured. And they've already been able to put those funds to good use. We've probably had uh, four or five people who have met that criteria uh, over the last several months uh, that have completed treatment or are in the treatment process. They say their goal is to help 50 people recover in the region altogether with those funds. One current patient says the grant money is just one more way the facility is able to help people like him. I've been on drugs for about 15 years and um, anywhere from heroin to fentanyl to, to uh, meth and and uh, it's the first time I've been clean. A lot of people come without like insurance, right? So that grant would help with that too. The facility also recently received a second grant, this one helping them expand their telehealth capabilities. With nearly $430,000 awarded by the USDA, OVP Health will be able to get more telehealth equipment for outpatient offices and create six additional telehealth jobs to service rural areas. It's opened up windows for health care for residents so they can be treated quickly and um, for what they their needs are. In South Point, Ohio, Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. The facility can handle up to 62 people at a time. Right now they have a little more than half that number. Three other facilities in the state also received grants.